I am so envious of you, not just because you get to kick the shit out of people on television, oh. which has been my dream all my life. <laughs> and then this happened. Uh, I think you have one of the best voices I've heard in a long time. I have always hated my voice. You have an incredibly uh, great, deep voice. I think it's amazing. It, it's okay, you know, I hate, I'm glad we are through the era of uh, the uh, voice recorder where you call in and the answering machine. I hated hearing that playback. But uh, I hear it's pretty good, you know? It changed when I was like 10 years old or something. Your so. voice changed when you were 10? About 10, yeah, yeah. I was in the playground. <laughs> yeah. Your, your voices didn't change no, when you were 10? No, I, 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 I think mine changed during the uh, second uh, term of Obama's presidency. <laughs> Before that, I was like, welcome to the show! <laughs> And then it all changed. Uh, so really, you were that young? Yeah, about, about 10, I was walking around the playground, you know, the voice was kind of high. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden it was like, hey. And then it went, went back up again. And it was kind of, I thought it was an accident. And I was talking <laughs> again, and they were, hey. And it went like that again. <laughs> and then all my friends were like, that's weird. And so it was weird. It wasn't like a cool thing, it was just weird. Right. And then it just dropped in one day. And all of a sudden I was like, just talking like this the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When when did you realize, like, okay, this will be an asset for me in my life? When did you start to get maybe special attention? Or? You know, I think I was, I think I was onto something. I knew I was onto something when my art teacher started giving me extra time in class, and she was trying, trying to show me how to draw. Mm -hmm. And she would lean over on me, and I'd be sitting here, and then she would put her, you know, her, you know, <clears throat> her whatever you call those things. She put them right on my head here. And her were, breasts. Is that, is that what they are, breasts? I, call I, I didn't know if you meant that or like her spectacles. I, <laughs> I'm going for clarity here. I was here. thinking fun bags, but I was like, is that, is that kosher, fun bags, no? <laughs> sure. So she would press them against my head and she would show me how to draw things. And I was just, the whole time, I never learned anything because I was so, so distracted. And I, I just look up and I just remember her pressing them down on my head. And I remember her asking me a lot of questions because she said, boy, you have a really deep voice. It's like, does your dad have a deep voice? And I was like, what does she, what does she want to know about my dad for? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. Right. Yeah, so 10 years later, I was like, oh, that's what she was asking me about. Yeah, <laughs> I, had a, I had a chance with her and I was 10. <laughs> <laughs>